What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of ATS Road to a Million Miles. Today we're going to finish our trip from Phoenix to Fargo. Uh, we don't have that far to go. Uh, it is 7 a.m. We have to be there within 12 hours, so we'll get this thing started and get going. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I know that we made some time up yesterday, so we're expected to be there at 5.12 p.m. And if I remember correctly, uh, yeah, and we got to be there between 6.45 and 10.55 uh, p.m. So we should be good. So we'll get rid of all that. Uh, no, this button. There we go. We don't need any of that. So we are going to hop in here. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Push those in and get those happen. So I'm filming this right after the last one uh, since I'm fixing to tear this whole room apart and move everything so that I can uh, get back into the actual room and that my daughter is back with her mom. And so I don't know what your opinion of how the last one went was. So I'm going to do this one the same way and hopefully you guys enjoy it. <laughs> oh, look at this shit. Why is he just sitting there? It's not a parking spot, dude. Oh, that's why. I don't... <laughs> I think I've said this a few times in the last one. This is just dumb. I don't know if you guys mind that or if that bugs you to death, but uh, to me it's just dumb that, that I pass them that way. Because to me that's just dumb. So, how are y'all's day going? Hopefully it's going well. Mine is going good. Although, by the time you see this, I will already be in the, the new room or at work or somewhere. Not the new room. It's actually the old room. It's where it used to be. I'm just moving it back to there. The sun is in my face. That's always fantastic. Let's see. So... On we continue to Fargo, North Dakota. I didn't really show a lot of the scenery in the last episode, but there ain't much to see out here. I believe we're still in Nebraska. I know that Nebraska goes on f for fucking forever. I went through Nebraska a lot. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. So. Come on, dude. Get over. You're holding up progress. Really, dude? Come on. There's like nobody over there and he's just going to ride right here. And his lane's even ending. Oh, sucks for you, dude. Sucks for him. You know, if I remember correctly, uh, they were always working on 80 through Nebraska. So the game has portrayed that well. I don't know if you've seen in the last episode when we drove past the other side, which had like 10 miles of nothing but road work. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the way I did the last video. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the way I'm doing this one. So instead of slowing it all down, I figured I'd stop at points and talk. So here we are, Omaha, Nebraska. Well, we should be. There's Omaha, what you can see of it. So we shouldn't be too far from our turn. Continue straight. Yeah, it's right there. Continue straight. So we're not going to make the first exit. We're going to make the second one. Use the right lane. Sioux Falls, South take Dakota. The exit on the right. Is where we will be headed. Take the exit on the right.
Turn right. Yes, I will turn right. And I'm gonna turn that turn signal off because it's annoying. I'm gonna turn turn that off. I won't be needing that. Ooh, that's sharp. But nailed it. There's that damn noise again. Yep. Go ahead and get over. So we shouldn't have too far. What are you doing, Prime? So we shouldn't have too far to go. I don't have it up on the screen. But uh, we shouldn't have too far to go. We only had like 500 miles left yesterday. Or in the last episode, anyway. So I don't remember. I could bring it up, but that requires me looking over and hitting a key. Ooh! Sorry. I did not touch. We did not touch tips. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, I'll shut up. <laughs> So, I was thinking they should do like a uh, log books for this where you actually had to like put your time down and stuff. I think that would be cool. But it would probably restrict you a whole lot because of the way the time works in game. But it'd still be pretty cool. I guess you could get like an actual log book and do it yourself. But, it was just something I thought would be cool. So, so far we are still in South Dakota, I think. So we just went through Sioux Falls. I don't know that we've crossed into North Dakota yet. Not yet, anyway. Not that I know. Oops. Not that I know of yet. boring looking out here. Not much out here to look at. Ugh. Yeah, but I think uh, log books would be pretty cool to implement. Like something where you had to like put yourself on the drive line or the off duty line and stuff like that. That'd be a pretty cool feature to implement. What do you guys think? Why? Why are you slowing down? Man, you have to tell me what you guys think. If that would be a pretty cool feature. Of course, it'd mean a lot of people would have to learn how to do logbooks, or it'd be something like a feature you could turn on and off for like advanced users or something. That'd be pretty cool, I think. And I think the way I'm going to do truck rotations, uh, so that you guys don't see the same truck all the time. Uh, this will be the primary truck, but what I'll do is. Uh, say for instance when this truck needs maintenance or oil change or stuff like that which doesn't really need I, well it does because you have to put it in the shop and get maintenance done like so what I would do is I would take it to one of our known uh, port portals or locations or 
shops or oh, I'm doing 83 miles an hour holy shit uh, take it to one of our uh, shops drop it off pick up one of the uh, older trucks like the classic or the Cascadia or whatever and drive one of those for a load and then go back to the shop and get the truck and get this truck back so this would be my main truck but then I would also pick up one of those and use that for an episode or two or however long the load is so like say for instance when this load is over which probably not because the truck's brand new but um, when the load's over I would go back to one of the shops grab one of the other trucks and then run a load or two out of it so they had a day or two or three to do the maintenance on this and that way it makes it a little more legit than pulling up to a Kenworth dealership hitting the X button and your truck's fixed you just go and drop the truck off and that will cause me to do a little uh, you know depending on well it depends it depends on where the truck is I can move trucks to different areas I guess you could do so we'll I want to do something like that I think that way it's not always the same truck though this will be the main truck if I don't kill everybody trying to scratch my ear there we go so but this would be the main truck but then you would also see other trucks, I think, is what I'm going to do. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is, uh, since we're technically pulling for FedEx most of the time, I'm going to uh, edit the SII file, give myself a whole bunch of money, buy some uh, garages all throughout the country, probably one or two in you know the Midwest, and then three or four on the East Coast, probably one in Florida, one in New York, Virginia, a couple places like that, you know, where FedEx would actually have hubs, and that's where I can go and drop the truck off to get it fixed, pick up one of the other trucks, or something to that effect, just to make it a little more realistic, because I wouldn't have to buy them in real life, so, like, right now I've got, like, $23,000, so you edit the SII file, give yourself, like, welcome to North Dakota, so you give yourself, like, a two million dollars just go through buy a few garages fix them up the way you want and then uh, go back and re-edit the SI if I'd give you your amount of money back that way I can blow it on uh, tickets and stuff for speeding like I did in the last episode <laughs> so you guys have to let me know what you think about that down in the comments uh, I think it's a decent idea I think it's something that will help uh, make this a little more realistic other than just pulling up and hitting an X key and getting your truck fixed so I think that'll be something to do but you guys will have to let me know what you think why why are you driving slow why no just go thank you I'm doing the speed limit at 78,000 pounds. You can do the speed limit in your little pickup truck. I need to hurry and get in front of these cars. I have a feeling my exit's coming up somewhere. At least I think it is. It's got to be coming up somewhere. How much further do I got? 54 miles? Yeah, it's coming up somewhere. It's coming up somewhere. Let's uh, get back over. Hopefully this pecker neck in front of me doesn't slow down again. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do for the... Uh, for when my truck needs to be... Uh, have maintenance done on it that way like I said that way you guys get to see several trucks or at least a few different ones but yet you have a little bit of normal real life the way some stuff would happen in real life use the right lane then take the exit on the right oh, why are you slowing down like that Take the exit on the right. 
Not this one, the next one. She trying to get me lost. Take the exit on the right. No, I need the one up here, up here right. towards Brunswick. Or Bismarck, I mean. I don't know where Brunswick came from. Sorry, dude, I can't let you over. I gotta get off up here. Use the right lane, then take the exit on the right. North Dakota. It's a lot greener than it is in real life right now. Downtown Fargo. Take the exit on the right. So we were supposed to be here at like 6 o'clock. Did we make it? Oh, yeah, it's only 2 o'clock. So we're going to be... We are supposed to be here between 5 and... Or 6 and 10. And we're here really early, so that's Use good. Use the right lane, then turn right. So that's really good. I don't turn know right. if that's the shoulder or the right lane over there. Pretty sure it's just the shoulder. Yeah, it's just a shoulder. Probably got me another ticket. <laughs> uh. Peter built. I should change the sensitivity so that I can look further around. Cat is still sleeping. There we go. In 200 meters, turn left. In 200 meters, turn left. Stay Turn green. left. Stay green. Stay green. Stay green. Why are you so far out, dude? Oh, okay. Game lagged a little bit there. That's interesting. All right. In 200 so, meters. Turn left. Should be BNSF right here. Turn left. All right. Oh, there's a little skate park there. That's pretty cool. I guess we're going... Are we going in there? No. Where are we going? Oh, we're going in here. You have arrived. You have arrived. That's nice. Where do they want the trailer at? Oh, I bet they want it around that corner. All right. Let's, um... Hop out here and see if that's where they want it. It's where they usually want it, which is a terrible place to want it. Oh, they want it right there. I'm hoping that's where they want it. Yep. So they want it right there. That's not too bad. That we can do. Uh, the way I'm doing this is through the console. Uh, you have to edit it and then just hit O. And then uh, 
eight, five, four, and two on your numpad moves. And then if you hit uh, scroll up on the wheel on your mouse, you can go faster and stuff. For those that y'all want to know that. To get back in the truck, you just hit your normal view key. So let's uh, push those in. Turn those on. And we will have to turn sharp right. And then left. I don't really know why they want it where they want it, but that's where they want it, so that's where they'll get it. Alright. Nope. Should uh, let people know I'm backing up. Kick it around. Stop. Turn the wheel back the other way. And keep going. Ugh. Kind of an odd place to want it. You can't. Um, I guess they'll uh, have a yard dog. Like a yard dog move it or something, I guess. I'm about to hit the. They said that's good right there. Uh, however, that's not very good. We'll put it straight. It's not. It's not a good idea to actually unload your trailer from an angle or to unhook from it like that. There's the wall. And if they're happy with that, I'll be happy with that, I guess. They're happy with that. I'm happy with that. Pop those out. And, uh, hop out. And excellent, excellente. So, great job on that one. Continue. Uh, now we gotta find a place to, uh, park it. Uh, right here. So we'll go over there and sleep. Alright. Push in the brakes.
Navigation resumed. Navigation resumed. In 200 meters, turn left, turn left. You guys didn't see that. In 200 meters, turn left. Right. Turn left. Continue straight. So, we're going down here to a little place for uh, trucks to park. And then, uh... Oh, I guess I gotta... Oh, wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Wrong buttons. So we're going down here where they got a little place for trucks to park. Here in Fargo, North Dakota. And then we will uh, go to sleep. And I will continue straight. get another episode filmed at another day so that you guys can uh, figure out where we're going next because I don't know yet. Turn green, turn green, turn green, turn green, Continue turn green, straight. turn green. Come on, damn it. Got that crown Vic. Yes, we are sleeping here. You have arrived. You have arrived. Have I? All right there. Yep. Well, let's see if we can't turn around first. Oh. That is one hell of a curb. That's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. Alright, so we'll park over here. On the curb, right there. Sounds good. There we go. Shut this bad boy off. There we go. And that is crooked as shit. <laughs> can't do that. I can't leave it crooked. That's better. All right. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to go down to the comments and uh, leave uh, the fact that you did or didn't. <laughs> and don't forget that you guys are the best, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.